A ball has a mass of 44 grams and is struck with a force of 46 newtons. Okay, so here's our ball. Okay, and it is somehow struck. Okay, we don't know how, but imagine it's being kicked. And we know that this is 440 grams and the force wherewith it is being kicked is equal to 46 newtons okay now it could have been a golf ball that's being hit by a, a, a golfing club or any type of sport but all that's relevant is really the values we have mass however mass mass is in the wrong unit we need it in kilograms now to go from kilograms to grams I would have multiplied with a thousand and to go from grams to kilograms I will divide with a thousand okay which means that this in kilograms I need to move the comma three spaces to the left so I get 0 comma 44 kilograms there we go I need the correct units now the question is what is the acceleration of the ball so one thing that you need to understand here is that the force is not the um, applied during the whole time that the ball is in the air it is only applied for a short time while the foot is actually connected to the ball because the foot is applying the force okay so that is apparently the net force okay it should have mentioned here that it was a net force that's being applied but that's the net force 46 newtons Okay, it's only for a very short time, but during that time, the ball goes from rest, for example, it might have been moving, but let's say it's at rest, it goes from rest to actually having an initial velocity. And then it goes through the air, and we've done those calculations before. But now, while it is going um, from rest until it has that initial velocity while it's traveling through the air, okay, it has experienced acceleration and we want to calculate what is that acceleration so let's go see we have this formula that we use when force is applied to a mass to generate an acceleration mass times acceleration the net force is 46 newtons the mass is 0 comma 44 kilograms and the acceleration is unknown okay so how are we going to calculate that obviously simply dividing with 0 comma 4 4 on both sides to get acceleration on its own and that will give me an answer of well let's go calculate forty six divided by point four four hundred and four meters per second uh, four comma five Four five will be five five a hundred and four point five five a hundred and four comma five five meters per second squared. That's an incredible acceleration. Okay, so that's our answer. Let's put it in, and that's the net force formula that we are using. We know net force is forty six. We know mass is point. 0 comma 4 4 0 comma 4 4 and we want acceleration and now substituting we get that the force is 46 is equal to the mass which is 0 0.44 times the acceleration preview looking good our acceleration is equal to 46 divided by 0.44 gave us 104.55 meters per second squared 